first episode of the button. Singles get brutally honest on the button. For 10 minutes, it went in all expenses paid second date. This is the button. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good. Nice to meet you, I'm Cal. Andy. Andy, nice to meet you. So Cal. what are you looking for? Like, why did you come on this? I, I like her nose freckles. A lot of things as a child, so like. Why didn't you experience a lot as a child? If you want to get into that. Because uh, my parents were horrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Were they like super religious? My parents were really religious. Not really religious, just really, really like strict and limiting of everything. Yeah. I don't mm. talk to them anymore. Like, oh, interesting, interesting. And how long has it been since that? Since I have talked to them? Yeah. Probably about ten years. Yeah, about ten years. That's crazy. Fun fact about Andy. Yeah. They have two possums in their freezer, right? Yo, button. Why you sound like that, bro? You sound a little sick. You said two possums. So tell me about that. Why you have two possums in your freezer? Well, I found them on the road and they were very fresh. And um, I you know one of my many hobbies is I preserve dead little creatures in jars. Oh. Only ones oh. I find. I don't kill them myself. That's cheating. Yeah. I, everywhere I go, I, I find bones. I don't know why. It's just, Wait, that's crazy. What do you mean? Like, like just outside? Weird, yeah, it's just like a weird ability. It, it, I've never seen a bone in public in my life. I'm That's like a, crazy. I'm like a metal detector, but it, for bones. Take what the fuck? That's your type, bro. That's your type. I mean, look, bro. <clears throat> hey, I ain't judging. You know. What I'm saying? Go to the park and I'll find you bone. I'll leave. Her, I'll leave her on the screen for you and shit. Hold on. I'll leave her on the screen for you. You go ahead and do your thing, bro. Go ahead and do your thing. I'll move out the way. I'll move out the way. Go ahead and do your thing. Go ahead and handle your shit. Go ahead and handle your business, bruh. Go ahead and do what you gotta do. Everyone has types. We're all human. What the fuck you mean, pause? Humans are paused now? Like a metal detector, but it... I think... Oh, shit. Because... She pressed her? Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. My fault. I'm gonna park and I'll find you, bone. I think it, because I'm like pretty, I was raised in a very like family oriented, even though my parents are strict, it's sometimes hard for me to be with people who yeah. aren't as oriented with their families, you know? So it wasn't the bones? It wasn't the bones. No, the bones <laughs> were great. No, it, it mm -hmm. I mean, I would assume so. Was it the preserving dead animals? No, those were great things. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm nice Cal. Mandy. Mandy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what would you like if you're starting to go on like a first date with a partner? Like what are things that you enjoy doing? I like going to like like places out like where there's like activities and stuff like, right. you know, like board game cafes. I don't, I'm not a very outdoorsy person, but like. What you mean, ew? Oh, oh. Oh, the intro type? All right, I got you. I got you, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm a man of the people, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure that y'all get y'all fixed, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all get y'all fixed. Go ahead and handle your business, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and screenshot whatever you need to do to this. I'm gonna move out the way for you, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get this shit done so that way, tonight, before bed, you know what I'm saying? You can handle your business and shit. All right? Dog park, like that kind of thing. Like, that might be hard. Like, I'm a pretty fully like. Couple all of the Mohawk girls. I can see that. Yeah. For 40 <laughs> hours of my week, I'm. So see, she more my type. Like, I probably wouldn't date her or anything. But like, girls, I want to see men. The capitalist <laughs> slave that it's like sometimes nah. it's like right. I just want to be like far away from the city and as far away from yeah. possible, you know. That's so fair. I go on like, yeah, I just like being out. For that reason, I'm gonna yeah. Support. No, that's totally fine. Otherwise, you seem yeah, you seem very cool too. Yeah, I just don't think we have that. our hobbies yeah. are a little different. Yeah. It was yeah. so nice it to meet so you. Yeah, you. have a good one. Yeah, you too. Hello. I hate how like Isaiah. friendly Andy. they be, bro. Andy. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you as well. I'm loving the piercing, and I yeah. see the whole like button set. My flair. Uh, yeah, is that like <laughs> anything special to you, or like what's going on there? I have like my cat. Um, yeah. Damn, she didn't get done explaining um, it. Button. I just don't see myself becoming like super attracted to you and like That's working nice. with the aesthetic. Like, yeah, it's just a different look. What was the first thing you noticed that was unattractive to you? Damn. Damn, how do I Okay, that's a crazy question. I'm not gonna lie, that's fed as fuck. Button oh my god. I don't even know how I would ever answer that. Unless I knew the person and then I would say it and then they would know I'm joking. But like fuck. Which was the first thing unattractive about her. Actually never mind, because y'all niggas be mean. Never mind. Let's just say them as a whole. Um, hello, Isaiah. I'm Ambrose. Them as a whole. Me, yeah. Ambrose. Yeah. Okay, I'm already <laughs> loving. I'm already <laughs> loving the looks that you're serving. Okay, yeah. yeah me too. Tell me about your dynamic. You say he look good. I got you, bro. Go ahead. 
Let me go ahead, screenshot out, bro. I got you. Lock in, bro. Alright. I got you, bro. You can't say I ain't never did nothing for y'all, bro. Can't say I ain't never did nothing for y'all. You know what I'm you look for in poly relationships? I'm not looking for like a primary partner. I have a primary partner. What? So, um, and I have two kids. I'm really busy. And I like to be upfront about Dude, that. I am 23. I don't know if that's. She said I was. Wait. She said not looking for a primary partner. Too young. <laughs> yeah. So I am 23. Okay. Um, so like I'm still like young 20s. Uh, yeah. Turned 21 during COVID. Like I'm really just still starting my life in the nightlife yeah. scene. So. You're very cute, but you're so young. <laughs> I'm 34, so it's just. A Damn. 34. I just Good luck. Nice video. Thank <laughs> nice you. Tell me what y'all doing with that. Y'all hitting her? Hi, Bruce, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, what are you looking for here? Like, I have a primary partner that's still, that I'm committed to, and that's yeah. Bro, what the fuck is this, bro? These niggas aren't single. What do you mean you have a primary partner? Like, like, like what? It's gonna be my primary. I am a very romantic person, mm -hmm. so I'm definitely looking for someone that I can have, like, a very close relationship with, but not... <sighs> now, you, please, like, please, can someone just make that make sense? You just said you have a primary partner. You have a boyfriend, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or a girlfriend, whatever the fuck. And you're on here looking for somebody, and then you say you want to pursue something romantically with them. I'm so fucking confused. Not necessarily, like, moving in. But, like, what about you? I really just like connections with people and enjoying them how they are. Yeah. So, I have a... A very limited amount of time so I don't have okay. like the full you know, yeah. attention to be able to commit that to somebody yeah. and spend a lot of time with them what do you mean when you say you don't have a lot of time so I have two kids mm -hmm. two jobs <laughs> a primary partner um, weekends are like pretty much my only time to hang out which yeah. is I'm so sorry <laughs> I don't think I'm very good with kids, especially. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. They don't really like hanging out with adults either. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. It was, it was nice, nice to meet you. you. Have a good one. I'm Alexa. I just don't Alexa, get it. Good to meet you. I'm Emma. Nice to meet you, Emma. I like your earrings. Thank you. I like your whole outfit. Thank you so much. I feel like we have like competing aesthetics. Here. I know a little bit. I'm a little bit a lot of trolls. Do you yeah. really wear a lot of like? I definitely, yeah, I definitely prefer. Yeah, like, chill, browns, chill, chill. But I love pops of color. Yeah. Green and purple, so I love it. I appreciate it. So tell me, like, how do you how do you date? How do you do non-monogamy? I have I have a primary partner. They live in Chicago, um, so it's a long-distance relationship. So I'm kind of really just open and curious. What's this tattoo she has? What is this? Is that Cupid? What is that? And excited to meet people and kind of explore that kind of relationship. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? I've been like poly kind of my whole adult life. Um, I definitely approach polyamory in a very like non-hierarchical way. Whatever, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I but... like that and I appreciate that. Yeah. This is very, it's a little bit new to me and I've like my partner has other partners and that's been working really well for me. And I'm definitely like interested in meeting someone who's more well, like well versed in it. Yeah. Like, Emma, do you think you can be a good teacher? Oh, I'm an excellent teacher. Yeah, yeah I work in education. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, I originally was a preschool teacher, but now I'm a nanny. Okay. Um, which yeah. is probably not maybe applicable to like how good I am at like dating, but I really love like dating and relationships. Yeah. And I consider myself like a little bit of a like relationship nerd. What about you? What do you what kind of things are you a nerd about? I'm a huge nerd about picture frames, which is very niche. Um, I love my, that shit. I nerd love about special interest that I, yeah. I don't know anything about frames. Wait, Alexa? Yes. Can you look deep into Emma's eyes mm -hmm. and in a sexy voice explain the sexiest parts of picture framing? <laughs> okay, the sexiest part of picture framing. Sexy voice. Okay, so I have to say the sexiest part of picture framing. Sexier? Is. I'm trying. <laughs> You're doing great. Just like this very fancy type of glass mm -hmm. that's anti glass. Y'all like that voice shot? And 99% like UV protected. <laughs> sexy. And it will make your art very sexy. Is it expensive? Yes. Hot. <laughs> Fun fact about Emma. Yes. She took a fisting workshop. What? <laughs> what? What does that mean? What? Wait, wait, wait. 
<laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Have you, have you ever ever engaged with fisting? Um, maybe. Yeah, no, 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 no. We need to do a little bit more research. We need to do some research. Hold on, hold on. I don't know what the fuck is gonna pop up. What the fuck? Oh shit. Let me turn the blurring off. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, it is quite literally what you think it is. It is actually what you think it is. There are people just... Hey, I ain't gonna say to Google it, but Google it at your own risk. That... Just Google fisting workshop at your own risk. And just go to the image section. That shit is, uh... Quite interesting is all I'm gonna say. Quite interesting. At some point. Maybe. Who knows? You don't know? <laughs> I think you know it probably, probably. right? Probably. I would hope so. Yeah. I, I mean, they got their whole... Bro, that's crazy, bruh. I'm not going to press I'm, I won't press the button either. <laughs> so how did your journey with that kind of start? Like, I've always, always been a, like, horny little guy. <laughs> What's your Wait. relationship with, like, sexual Wait, what? sexuality? I have a, I have what, what, what this bitch said? a complicated or, relationship Nick, with sex. What is, there was many years where I actually identified as asexual. Okay. So do you still identify as asexual? I would say I have my days. It depends, <laughs> yeah. like, in relationship. My bestie sent me pics. People shoving vases, fist, food, feet, and shit. I seen a video back in the day in, like, middle school, bruh. First time I ever seen any crazy shit like that. Bro, this bitch, this bitch had a whole bowl. This nigga was eating Fruit Loops out this bitch ass, bro. That nigga had poured the Fruit Loops in there, milk and everything, bro. Just floating in there shit, bro. He was just eating the cereal out here. I was like, what the fuck am I watching right now? Like, just, like, and I'm just sitting there just watching this shit. Like, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Block boy's body built like an anal bead. Personally, I just, like... I ain't gonna lie, you just gotta get back after that, bro. That's just one of the things you just gotta get back after, bro. Like, you just can't take that. Like, you can't take that. And really, it's just like an iron sharpens iron kind of thing. Because then, like, say we gotta go out and we gotta go start beefing with other niggas. Now, we all know that we good. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, 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 we solid type shit so then we can defend ourselves and also go on the offensive so like I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need to see some retaliation out of you after that I ain't gonna lie if I become the caretaker in relationship my sex drive goes away yeah so that makes uh horses don't have fists by the way that's a lot of yeah. are you a bottom I am a bottom yeah yeah <laughs> what, what kind of do you think I'm a bottom what do you think my I don't know is? I kind of think you're a top bottom as fuck stop fucking playing like that a little bit or a switch at least I mean I learned about fisting as a general <laughs> topic um no, I'm I'm very switchy. Okay, but like I, Cap. I think for a long time I had like a Cap. boy phase, and I was okay. like very like, no, I'm a top only, and like just, I think in some ways that was Cap. me just sort of compensating for the fact that it's like difficult to receive pleasure and like yeah, get a bunch of a sexual attention, but like. Yeah. Yeah, I know that's interesting because I'm like in the. We opposite. just ignored the button. That's, we did. That's a good sign. I know it is. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt, but I feel like there's a vibe here. I feel like there's yeah, a vibe here. Yeah, definitely there's a vibe here. So I'm gonna go red one more time, and if you still wanna push me, you can. <laughs> and if you don't, I think we have a match. Like Chad, like you have to understand, bro. Like two, like a finger is a lot. Two fingers is really like I. Right, I feel like you're kind of stretching it at that point. I've tried to put three sometimes. I tried. Like, three is like, eh. Two fingers is like really my max. My nigga, these bitches be putting their whole fist in that bitch. Just. Like, bro, come on, bro. Like, that's crazy as fuck, bro. I'm not gonna push it. <laughs> that's crazy, dog. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. It was you that walked out here. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Hi! Hi! You have you... Max! Alexa, do you feel like Emma's gonna be a good teacher? I think so. I think so, and that's what I'm looking for. Oh, sounds good. <laughs> I got nothing to say, bro. Yeah, I got nothing to say. Only episode with zero rude contestants. 
Yep. Six hundred thousand. Jesus. I got nothing to say. It's the worst episode of the button I've ever seen in my fucking life. I'm lying, kidding, obviously. Maybe.